So let's now start adding our slots. Okay, I've deleted the hard coded stuff. We're going to actually create all of that through script and we will have references for when we want to load something or not. Okay, now. Uh, even though I've kept some of them, we're probably mostly going to delete all of this. So, for example, let's go to our weapon slots. Right away, we know that our weapon slots have, uh, yeah, we need six slots. Okay, so I've set up on my grid, constraint count on a fixed column count will be three. Okay, and we have, so they will go in order uh, from left to right, and then when we reach 3 they will go again from left to right but this way we also know that when we actually start instantiate them if we put them inside a list okay the first three slots are going to be for yeah they're going to be for our right hand and then the next uh, three slots are going to be for the left hand okay so let's delete all the extra slots Okay, and let's go start writing our script. First of all, let's go into our scripts. We have our UI over here, but I want to create another folder inside our UI, which is going to be again inventory. Okay, don't confuse this with this inventory. This has to do with our UI. And I'm going to start the script by writing UI first, so we know that this has to do with the UI and we can just call this inventory manager. Alternatively, we could also, of course, utilize the namespace for that, for specifically the UI, but I think uh, just being able to understand what the script is about just by looking on the on the name, yeah, it's much more better. So let's delete all of this. We'll keep the start because we're going to have to create a void setup slots. Okay. And over here, first of all, we're going to have to include the, the names for the UI. And then we're going to need to add public game object, the inventory slot or item slot okay and then we need something that it tells us this is a weapon slot this is an arrow slot this is a bot slot and so on and so on previously we had all that uh, yeah we had a really generic uh, way of adding that basically was also her coded so instead of doing that again we're going to go and make it slightly more dynamic or well a lot more dynamic so what I mean by that first of all let's go and add a new script onto our UI inventory uh, let's start and let's call this UI slot type okay let's delete this and this one now it's just going to be empty but instead of mono behavior it will start from scriptable object and we can create menu name and this one will be UI slot type okay that's all we need let's create another script and this one will start with a template for mono behavior but we don't want really for this to be mono behavior so I'm just going to say UI slot okay delete all of this I'm going to add the namespace and this we don't really care if it takes from mono behavior but we do want this to be serializable because we're going to add it in a list we need to know the slot type this has and we also need to know the transform uh, yeah the grid basically the grid layout parent so we're just going to call this grid parent okay now 
back to the UI Inventor Manager, we're going to create an array of UI slots. Okay, we're just an array. We're not really going to be doing anything dynamic every time we change. Yeah, the, the inventory layout is not really going to change uh, throughout the game, so we don't have to worry about making lists for this. And we're going to start slots. Because though, every time we're going to have to access something from the side of the slot, we don't really want to be going through all of our entire array and just check for type and type okay that's obviously to yeah, yeah even though we're only going to have uh, two little yeah we're only going to have uh, only a few slots we don't really want to do that either way so we're going to create a dictionary with our ui slots with our slot type and our, the actual UI slot. Okay. So, first of all, what I want to do over here will be to create the dictionary. Okay. So, for oops, slots dot length, then uh, slots dictionary dot add. the slot i dot type and just add the slots i okay and this will add everything inside our dictionary then when we're going to get back a slot public ui slot get slot we need to be passing the slot type uh, let's just say t and then for this to return we just say ui slot result null then slots dictionary try and get value the key is the type and we just output it onto our result and then return that result okay and that's how we can get fast uh, any of these slots okay let's go ex let's expand on this and inside our UI slots, we're going to also add a number uh, slot count. Okay, then depending on how many slots you have inside your slot count, let's call this C, uh, C slots i dot slot count, we're going to be instantiating the template slot game object geo instantiate the item slot we have over here okay and we're going to be parenting it under geo transform set parent under the slots i dot the grid parent okay just to make sure we are because you know our scale could uh, go up and down depending on the resolution we're using i'm simply resetting the local scale back to vector 3.1 everything else such as the position and stuff like that is going to be handled by the grid so let's drop this inside start okay set up slots get slot and for now this will be enough because we only want to see how to dynamically create all these uh, slots so let's go on to our inventory or you know what let's add a new game object in here on top of our events and i'm going to call this inventory manager okay just so that i don't have to hunt through my entire through all of this just to find this script so I'm going to take this uh, the slot we have I'm just going to take the first one from the from the weapon slots and I'm actually going to disable this which means we also have to go over here and say geo set active 
set it to true when you instantiate them. Okay. Then on to our data. Let's create a new folder. Create new folder. Let's call this UI. And in here, let's create another folder which we're going to call slot types. We're going to also have stat types and we're going to have a few other things. So, UI, slot type, weapon slot. Okay, then you have arrow slot. Then you have equipment or armor slot okay and so on and so on and of course consumable slot ring slots consumable slot and so on and so on okay we'll do this later then on my inventory manager I'm just going to create let's create two of these for now and the first type that's going to be will be the weapon slot we know right away that we want six weapons six weapon slots and for let's see six weapon slots and let's also add the armor actually we need to add the grade parent which is this the weapon slots and armor yeah armor over here I'm going to delete this one now we don't need it we have our weapon slots and let's see yeah inventory manager and over here we want to have the armor slot okay and slot count four so when we hit play now okay we're not going to test this right now we're going to dynamically just instantiate the slots where they should be okay so we will have six over here and i believe four uh, over here probably yeah Okay, let's do one more thing, however, and uh, let's make the actual slot uh, on our scripts. We have this as a UI slot. Mm, I think it's better if we rename this to UI slot container, not the actual slot. So I'm going to copy this and rename this as well slot container and then I'm going to force uh, compile because I want to use the name UI slot again or item slot I guess okay let's do this as item slot okay and let's see we have our inventory slot type slot type okay then let's do this as new class let's call this UI item slot let's delete all of this even though it's going to be from mono behavior we don't need uh, uh, anything on the start or the update and basically what we're going to be using is unity engine.ui and I want now the public image the icon and well for now we should also have a reference to the item that it's holding okay and let's just say public void load item item target item okay and item of course is going to be target item and if target item however is null let's do an else over here if target item is null then icon dot sprite set it to null and icon dot enabled equals false but if it's the other way then and of course we need to also set item to null in here and otherwise icon dot sprite equals item dot ui yeah, item dot icon and 
icon dot enabled equals true okay and that's what we use when we want to load so because now we have a container we can also say that that's the container yeah okay then we can just create a list inside our container or list or arrays to be honest let's use arrays uh, we don't want this to show in the inspector um, hide in inspector we can say public UI item slot item slot uh, slots okay let's make this into an array okay then on our UI manager over here we're going to be saying slots i dot slots equals new UI item slots and slots i dot slot count then after we have instantiated our game object we can say slots i dot slot count uh, dot slots not slot count uh, c equals geo get component ui item slot and just do it like that slot container okay slot types okay inventor manager okay awesome so with this in mind let's see okay let's go and set up our inventor slot the template okay which is this let's compile first add component ui item slot and we basically just need the icon over here obviously you can make the, your icons you can optimize this this is a little bit horrible to be honest you can make this all into an object into a single uh, sprite and create all of that but anyway okay so this will be now our item slot so when we hit play now let's make sure we don't have any errors open it up and you can see that we have dynamically created the the new the new slots and each one of them have their their scripts and they will also ha we also have references to them onto our inventory manager over here okay so on the next part we're going to basically take the weapons we have right now and place them and load them onto our scripts onto our slots so as always you know what to do like subscribe and if you like to see more videos like this then consider supporting me on patreon so we can keep making all of these nice things i'll see you next time